Morning folks, Lowbuck1010 here. And this video is about my latest acquisition. It's a 1963 John Deere 1010, I beg your pardon, 2010, that I picked up <clears throat> off of a fellow up on the Eastern shore of Virginia in a town called Exmoor. Uh, the tractor was sold at a John Deere dealership, brand new in 1963, and was subsequently sold to another individual uh, who used it for quite a number of years and then I believe he passed away and then was sold to a third individual who intended to make it into a project tractor uh, and either sell it or use it but he decided he had too many projects going on so he turned around and sold it to me so I'm the fourth owner of this tractor so this is a row crop tractor <clears throat> It uh, has a wide front end on it, as you can see, and uh, <clears throat> it does have power steering, as most of them did, although a few of them did not have power steering. Um, it's a gas tractor. It has a 145 cubic inch motor. Uh, it has, let's see... <clears throat> 1,099.7 hours on the meter. The meter does work, although I find it extremely hard to believe that those are original and it doesn't have more than that, but it, I guess it's possible. Um, so uh, <clears throat> there are, where there is one remote hydraulic outlet in the back. Uh, it comes with the original top link uh, sheet metal is fairly straight on this. It has the rack adjustable rear wheels. Um, the front end of it is not dented, as you can see, although there is a considerable amount of rust on it. <coughs> Back tires are in pretty good shape. Um, I still got <coughs> some uh, seams here. Uh, they haven't been worn completely off. They're probably about 90%. It almost looks like uh, they were replaced just prior to the tractor going sitting. And uh, we got some dry rot and some cracking going on. But the back tires are in good shape. It's got car tires on the front. Uh, and let's see. <clears throat> what else? It's uh, currently got an alternator on it. It's been converted to negative ground instead of positive ground. Um, seat cushion has seen better days. Uh, so my intent with this tractor is uh, to get it back to the point where it can be a usable piece of equipment. Um, there are several opportunities for me to learn on this as I've never had a 2010 before. Uh, the <clears throat> front power steering seal where the steering spindle goes into the steering motor is leaking so that's gonna be an interesting job to fix I don't know if you can see it but uh, there's quite a bit of oil and grease up in there which indicates that seal is leaking so pretty much the whole front end of the tractor has got to come apart to fix that uh, it's also got fairly low compression the compression on it is uh, anywhere between 65 and 90 so I'm gonna be taking the cylinder head off Removing the pistons and the connecting rod as assemblies and replacing the piston rings. Honing out the cylinders and I'm gonna send the cylinder head out and have that redone. Um, let's see, what else? There is a cable that runs from the lever on the dash, this lever right here, <coughs> to back here. That is the cable that's supposed to control the three-point hitch, and it, it's fairly common for these things to freeze up, so this, this one's no exception. It's frozen up. It would normally attach to right here, but somebody's put this lever assembly on there as a makeshift, so I'm going to be replacing that cable. Uh, let's see. What else? <clears throat> um, the... Uh, seat 
is going to require some attention as is the lighting. You can see that there's a bulb missing there. Um, one missing here. Uh, carburetor, I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild the carburetor. The exhaust manifold is, uh, can you see it? Yeah, the exhaust manifold right there is rotted through. So I'm gonna have to replace the exhaust manifold. The uh, governor oil shaft seal is leaking. There's quite a bit of oil there. So that's gonna have to be replaced. Starter, I'm gonna have that rebuilt, send it out and have it rebuilt. Uh, I'm gonna convert it back over to <clears throat> the original configuration, which was positive ground with a generator. So I'll need to come up with a generator as well as a regulator. Uh, let's see, what else? <clears throat> Eventually, if I get it running, I will likely sand a hood down, put a coat of paint on that and get paint on the rest of it as well. Place the steering wheel. You can see the steering wheel there is in pretty sad shape. Uh, center cap is completely gone, which is fairly important because if you don't have that on there, water runs down the steering, steering column and goes into the uh, mechanism for the power steering. There's a lot of little stuff on here as well that I'm gonna be taking care of, just detail-oriented stuff like all these <clears throat> bolts that hold the uh, cowling cover are missing or broken, so I'm gonna get all those out of there, tap them out. Same thing for this. <clears throat> um, in general, just pretty much everything I can do to try and make it into a good usable piece of equipment and then uh, either sell it or keep it. I've got a 1965 2010 coming down <clears throat> from New York and that's a diesel, so I'll end up keeping that, but this one, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to sell it yet. But either way, it's, as I said, a lot of opportunities to do new stuff that I haven't done before and learn. So I'm going to be tackling all of that <clears throat> with the service manual and the parts manual and uh, hopefully getting after this thing to the point where it's a good solid piece of equipment I can either use myself or somebody else can benefit from it. The uh, wide front end on this tractor is <clears throat> uh, particularly desirable. A lot of them I've seen as I went through my search had the narrow front end and uh, <clears throat> that's in part one of the reasons that I, I picked up this tractor because if, if I don't decide to go ahead and fix it, if it becomes uh, a losing situation in terms of finances, then I'm just gonna go ahead and part it out. Uh, the front end of this is easily removable. There's six bolts that hold the uh, steering arm to the steering spindle and then eight bolts that hold the front end itself to the frame of the tractor. So it's not that difficult to take that out and sell it. The hydraulic pump on this <coughs> is also worth quite a bit of money. You can't really see the pump itself, but this door right here is uh, where it sits up inside there those four bolts and I've seen videos where you can get it out through there and uh, I'm sure you can but that'll be something new for me as well um, I'm sure the brakes are going to require some attention on both sides just because it's been sitting so long uh, as is the clutch I think the clutch is still fine I just don't <clears throat> I don't know how how free the mechanism is or how well it works but uh, hopefully once I get it running I'll be able to put a few hours on it and get everything freed up uh, so that it functions a little bit easier. These wheels, these rack adjustable wheels <clears throat> uh, right now are frozen. These collars right here are stuck. Uh, it looks as though somebody was trying to move these, adjust these. Uh, <clears throat> from what I can tell, reading the service manual, this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt all get backed out and then these are called pusher bolts. You, you thread those all the way in and they push up against the back side of this, uh, this collar right here and that breaks it loose. And then you can use this bolt right here, that rack bolt to move it in and out. There's a gear inside of here that mates with these uh, splines or whatever you call those teeth on there. And then uh, that moves the wheel in and out. But these things are frozen, so that's gonna be another project, getting that freed up. Uh, 
yeah, a lot of a lot of good stuff on here to do and stuff to learn about and what have you. So that's uh, <clears throat> that's the uh, next victim or addition or whatever you want to call it to uh, to my stable, and <clears throat> it may or may not end up staying around. But either way, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting project and hopefully one that I can learn a lot from and document it as well. Put it on uh, put it on YouTube as well. So if anybody else has got one of these. If somebody else hasn't already posted videos about the various different things, changing the front end or replacing the power steering seal or <clears throat> rings in the engine, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully I can get those up there and somebody will learn something from uh, what I'm doing. In any case, uh, it's Lowbuck 1010 signing out from uh, Norfolk, Virginia on this fine 28 degree February day. Thanks for watching.